Today in the news, a weird GPU that was leaked last year resurfaces, and AMD's marketing shows just how bad the 7900 XT's value is. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Nvidia. So a couple of months ago, there were these uh, rumors that a new RTX Titan class of GPU would pop up. I remember the leaker who mentioned it, copite 7 kimmy called it the beast. It would have about 11% more CUDA cores at 18,176, 48 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory at an insane 24 gigabits per second, and it would have a power limit of 800 watts. Not a TDP, a power limit. Anyways, that was about mid last year, and then a couple of months later, once the RTX 4000 series was actually announced, a photo of a super weird GPU cooler leaked. And when I say weird, I really mean it. In case you forgot, here is what it looks like. The X frame, like Nvidia calls it, is apparently four slots thick. You can tell that this one is a different model since it has the whole GeForce RTX indent here on the side, and the fins run in a completely different direction than the other 4000 series models. It's all straight fins instead of, you know, the usual V shape like you see right here. Now, what's really interesting about this specific picture is this right here. On the side that is usually vertical on a GPU, this right here, well, there's a straight up cold plate and it looks like a GPU cold plate too. I mean, you can have the die right here with the memory surrounding it and over there, it looks like just the right amount of space for the VRM cooling. So this is technically a vertical GPU, but without a vertical GPU bracket. And it turns out I was right. Well, half right. I also thought that this could be a dual GPU, but yeah, yesterday this cooler design was spotted once again, but this time on the uh, IO side and fully assembled too. This is what it looks like. The stacked IO here shows that the PCB lines up here. You can also see the notches in the cooler from the older picks that we had. The main reason I see Nvidia go with this weird config is simply to have the best cooling possible. At that point, the PCB doesn't impede on the flow through design at all. It's still odd that the cooler would be this big though, given how the three slot cooler on the 4090 is already really, really good. I'm guessing that four slots was needed to get the PCB height, so essentially this would be the four slots facing the motherboard. Also, shipping manifests of this GPU, or at least of this configuration, have started to pop up online, meaning that it's an actual product, not like a, a failed engineering sample. So it's real. Now it's just a gamble to see how much it's gonna cost. What do you guys think, 2,500 bucks? Probably. Speaking of current gen GPUs and them being overpriced, well, AMD kind of pulled their own pants down recently. So they released a whole blog post called Never a Better Time to Upgrade with Radeon Graphics, where they basically compare the last generation 6000 series of GPUs to the new 7900 series. And in this post, there's a dollar per FPS chart. First of all, dollar per FPS, no, you should use FPS per dollar, but that's not my main gripe. The chart clearly says higher is better, but it doesn't really specify which line is better. Obviously, it's the gray line, not the red one. So AMD is essentially showing you that the 6950 XT is a way better buy than the 7900 XT. I mean, look at this. At 1080p, across six games, the 7900 XT is only 5% faster. 5% faster than the 6950 XT, but the 7900 XT costs 28% more. What? In 4K, it's about 7% faster than the 6950 XT, but again, 28% more money. This is insane marketing. The worst part is that the 6950 XT is stock, and all you can really find retail these days are OC models, so the ratio is even worse. I get that here, AMD is saying it's never been a better time to upgrade to a 6000 or a 7000 series GPU. For example, if you had a, an RX 580, but those charts really show how bad the new gens are. At that point, just re-release the 5700 XT and 6950 XT, mark them down and we'll buy them. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here. To see the latest video, right here. To subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.